Total War for here, part 28 of Sparta, this is Total War campaign on legendary difficulty. We are defending Apollonia here with a garrison and no general against a full stack of uh, crap from RJ and a small fleet of crap. Let's jump right in. Alright, here they are, all of them. So, we are going to defend here as we usually do in this layout. So, pikes come here, in fact all three of you. And phalanx, cavalry, outside, we'll use them to destroy the ballistas before recharging into enemy blob. Couple slingers here, hopefully able to shoot and shield at sides. And couple slingers here. We also have a couple of Spartan hoplites, so one will be protecting this and the other one will be here. And we have these three crappy units which we are just going to keep inside. And how about our ships? The enemy fleet usually spawns somewhere here, so we're just going to put them here. And let's do it. Ah, oh, there's a fleet. Enemy going to ramming and start with these javelin men. Maybe we should go for the general first, but our guys are... Ah, it's hard to say. The general is 160 men, so a round of javelins from these guys would be really devastating. I think we should attack different ships with our guys. So we are going to sink them into hits and it's quite difficult to maneuver around uh, like superior number of enemy ships. We might get stuck in here and then we want to be in different spot. We don't want to get into each other's way with these two ships. You know what? I'm just going to... Sw nah, it's too late now. We need to go for him. Okay, hopefully this will be one hit. Yeah, it is. Okay, so attack him now. This should be one hit too. Yes? Okay, so landed a hit on the general or admiral. Go again. You start moving. Okay, this guy is on fire. Try to get him out of here. This one though should land a decent hit on the general. He's still alive. So you come back. How are you doing on land? The cavalry is approaching but they are still far away, not a biggie. Oh, we might actually lose this. Why is this guy not turning around? Ah, it's... I don't know why this is not responding. There's still 48 men. Oh, they have some enemy board in there and they are fighting in melee. Ah, we lost these ships. It's nothing we can do now. What is this? Oh, our cavalry is here, unguarded. They didn't attack it for some reason. So we're just going to intercept them with Spartan Hoplites. If they want to go around, good luck to them. Okay, how is this guy looking? Shaken. Okay, get uh, his general between two Hoplites. And sits in Cav, you start moving around. Yeah, we lost the second ship, that's fine. Wait, it's still here. Ugh. We can now move, but we dropped the ball by going for the... Uh, land battle. Yeah, we lost the uh, second ship. That's all right. Not uh, not a big problem. Okay, now cavalry, come here, and we will use it to destroy the ballistas. We won't hear by the looks of it. We have his general squeezed between two Spartan hoplites, so he's as good as dead. And now cavalry goes for ballistas. We don't want to have them near each other, not to make uh, not to make it easier for them to aim at us. They are bombing this guy. He's already lost 20 men. It's pretty bad. Okay, how are we doing here? They are approaching, but uh, it's gonna take them a while. In the meantime, Spartan Hoplites, you guys, one of you come back here, the other come back here. We basically destroyed his general without losing a single Hoplite. Pretty good. Ah, this cav lost 30 men, the other one lost 13. But they are now wide in the open, without any protection, so... That should be quick. Okay, this guy is back in the position, this guy is rushing back. Can you spread out a little bit more? Yeah, like this. Coastal levees, blah blah blah, spears. Okay, you can go into Hoplite Wall. How are we doing against these ballistas? This one's wavering, this one is down to 30 men. Okay, and our wall of pikes 
it should be absolutely crushing these guys. It's like, what can they do against this? Nothing. They brought no javelins, no slingers, no archers, nothing. Just guys in shirts and with some kind of weak spears and axes. Good luck. Okay, Ballista down, the other one too. Guys, you can start coming back here. Those guys here are about to land. There's one javelin man and one uh, three spear. Three spear is too tough to just charge at him with cavalry. Especially the, a round of 160 javelins on already weakened cavalry is going to be really bad. So we're going to stay well clear of them. How are our slingers doing? 70, 50, 16 and 30. Why is this one not killing? How are we doing here? Spartan Hoplite lost one man. This guy didn't lose a single one. Excellent. Oh, what is this? Spearman. Okay, we are going to ignore him. Levis and Levis. Okay, I'm going to charge at these Levis. There's 80 of them. Should be able to route them fairly easily with this cavalry. Right? They bracing? Looks like they are. Not gonna help them. Ah, uh, absolutely brutal. And this is another levy. We want to avoid the other guys. It's a hundred of them. A bit too much. Yeah, this one's shattered. Perfect. Okay, get out of here. How are we doing here? Spartan Hoplite lost 3 killed 80 and this one uh, 50 kills lost 7 men. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, should we charge at this guy? I think so. The previous charge was quite devastating and this guy only has like 20 men more. Okay, our slingers should now redirect because these guys are wavering. Start shooting them. And how are we looking here? Absolutely destroy them. Killed 50 of them already. Yeah, they are shattered. Perfect. A spearman approaching. We don't want to fight those guys, but we can absolutely charge at these levies. Maybe break them. Yeah, shattered them. Excellent. Okay, pull back. There are only spearmen left. We do not want to fight these guys. Right, you attack him. You attack him. And you, we can move you over here to help the Spartan hoplites. Right, we want here too. You can go around and rear charge these guys. Uh, javelin men are far away. Good. Okay, now you guys. Ah, they are going towards our cavalry. In which case we should attack uh, with pikemen. Those spearmen. Squeeze between two phalanx. That's uh, over for them. Yeah, they give up. Excellent. Right, the two of you guys just uh, keep pushing after him and how are you looking here yeah they don't look like they want to continue how is this guy looking confident i wonder for how long okay slingers we can start moving them against this javelin man probably wound them here you were supposed to charge at these guys come on and the general, you just advance. Cavalry, charge at them. Pikeman, how are you doing? Rather well, by the looks of it. Okay, his javelin men are approaching. We will be ready for them with our four slingers. 480 men. Yeah, this is the last one. The last of his uh, units from the first wave. Okay, Slingers, attack this Javelin man. This is, they, they should absolutely break after first round. They are already wavering. Same with these guys. Okay. One Cavalry will be needed here to chase them, to finish them off. Yeah, Javelin will have enough. This is his last unit. And you... Okay, it's over. Gonna wipe them out. Heroic victory, there we go.
Alright, so not quite a total wipeout. They got away with 5 units, plus they'll get a new general. The fleet uh, got uh, sunk. I think this is because with 2 ballistas, they dealt so much damage to our cavalry before we were able to disable ballistas that we didn't quite have enough to effectively chase them all. But that's alright, we still make uh, quite a lot of money from this. A thousand and new slaves. Ah, what is this? Someone died and we need to put a guy in charge. Alpheus. You report to Dynas. This is the opposition guy, right? Ah, 950. He's the admiral. And if you put our main guy, he will not be able to embezzle funds. We need the fresh generals. The thing is, this guy's an admiral, right? We need to pay 950 to repurpose him, and then we'll need to pay another 950 to put him back on the ship. So it might be less bad to just use our the king, Basilius, and just get a new general. Uh, use him to embezzle funds to turn later. Will save us 2k. Okay, let's do that. Silver Tongue, excellent. Hire and marry her off for, so we can use another general. Exactly what we need. Alright, now a window of opportunity appears. Wait, these guys are still under siege? Come on, how long is this going to take? Surrendering zero. Why did you not just wipe them out? You have a full stack here. They barely have anything left. Ah, this is just slowing us down so, so badly. We've been wasting like four turns here waiting for this guy to finish up the Carthage. But anyway, we have made good progress here. We basically destroyed two stacks of Tillys, and our J won't be an issue for another several turns, so we can now go on the offensive. We have a full stack here, and finally, Pulpodeva is up to 15 units of garrison. The question now is where are those two stacks from uh, Patricians? They are still starving, so they should not be in a good shape at all. I think it's time for this guy to take uh, the settlement, Anthea. And also the thing is Sardis, they don't even have any good units at this point. I, they are also starving, not so good for them. How is Ephesus doing? Five food, okay, but for some reason they are not sending that food over. Maybe they need to be bordering each other. So if we take this and fortify it, then we might have enough to just uh, get rid of Odrysians and secure northern border along the Epidamnos, Navassos, Odessos line. I like this. It's time to take these guys out. So you, how much movement do you need to get? Quite quite a lot actually. If you move here and fortify, is this giving you any better reinforcement range? 50% reinforcement range. Okay, so you might even be able to go here. And if you fortify, no, it's nowhere near. In which case, you're almost fully, fully replenished. You can just crack on. Come here. Oh, Odrysians, there we go. We can't attack them, right? We are out with. <laughs> we absolutely can attack them. It's not even a full stack, it's a tiny crab stack. What are we looking at? 15% losses on these guys? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna play this. We have bigger army and heavier army. It should be an absolute massacre. Mercenary Thracian Cove, what is this? Well, they have spears, so look, a long, long ones, so it's probably some kind of shock cav. Okay, so their crappy infantry is here. We're going to give them target to run at in the form of our pikes. We're gonna put three over here in phalanx, the other three here in phalanx. Oh, we have treble ballista. We can absolutely destroy them with, uh, with ballistas, but we don't have to. We also have cavalry to run at the shooters, chase them towards our main line of pikes and hoplites, and Hoplites here, and the general here. And our shooters, we want to aim at his uh, general, or his cavalry. And the general will just... Uh, spears? General... with spears? How? That should be Thracian nobles, right? Spears are absolute crap. Why would you put... what? Anyway, all the shooters will just aim at his cavalry. And let's do it. Right, you guys go here, cavalry attack these guys, and hoplites, you pick your targets. You go after this, and you go after this. Pikes start advancing. Uh, his cavalry is almost destroyed. Switch to him. How are you doing? We paint bowmen and bowmen. Pikes advance. Attack these guys, ballistas you're bombing them, should be shooting, you're not bombing them. In fact, we're already in the friendly fire territory, maybe we just stop using ballistas. 
these annoying guys are shooting us. That's uh, that's all right. It's not like I can do. They can do much. Okay, General Pills pin some annoying spears and is absolutely destroying them. But we need to pin those skirmishers too. Okay, we have these guys surrounded here. Cavalry pull back. Do you start shooting them? Cavalry you need to go around and chase these bowmen. Come here and charge at them. Not much left of this cavalry, to be honest. These guys are actually quite annoying to fight. We are going to take heavier losses than we expected. We have them surrounded here, so that should be pretty good. Skirmishers, bowmen and bowmen. Okay, go for bowmen first. They are lighter. We can easily get through them. The skirmishers have enough too. Excellent. We won here. Go after these guys now. You should be chasing the... Oh, you are. You paint the bowmen. Excellent. They are all shaken. Perfect. Got these guys. Got these guys. And we are catching up with them. Good. You can pull back. And we got these skirmishers too. Excellent. Okay. How, how come this fight is still going? Guys, can you just bomb his general? Okay, uh, this is the last guy standing, Bowman. Not for long though. Right, you chase them, and you chase them. No, you're already here, maybe finish these guys off. And they collapse too, excellent, just gonna wipe them out. Okay, not quite a total wipeout, but good enough. And we only lost what, less than 4% versus 15 from auto resolve. Okay, the guy is rank 3. Let's give him movement and see if we can... Ah, uh, we won't be able to move. It's... if he's already used... Ah, uh, just this much. Doesn't matter. Okay, so there's another stack here of 12. Almost all shooters. This might be all the Drissings have here. They might have another stack here. Can we get them next turn? We can. Should we? How much are we replenishing here? 62 men. Nice. Two turns to full. It's too dangerous to crack on like this because we only get replenishment at the start of the turn. So if we end up here and they have a full stack of uh, skirmishers, they can obviously attack us and then we are in big trouble because what are we supposed to do with like a total of maybe 300 hoplites? Not much. So get inside. Still 66, so didn't improve that much. That's alright. And he can most likely take uh, the settlement next turn. Okay, now what's the situation in here? What is this? A lone admiral. Not a big threat, right? This fleet now has eight artillery ships. That's a little bit too much, so I'm going to give two of them to him because in this sea he can only hire these crappy ships and we don't want them. So why don't you double time here, somewhere here, and you go meet him and get these two ballista ships off him. Yeah, this looks better. You won't be able to move because they used all their movement points, but that's fine. We now have two fleets with six ballista ships in each in this area, which should be more than enough to very comfortably repeatedly sink anything that Sardis, Rhodes and uh, Cyprus sent at us. I think we can ignore this one. It's just a single admiral and this is really badly beaten up, so he would be smart to retreat and replenish before doing anything else. There is a full stack of transport fleet from... Oh, Syracuse, there they are. Excellent. We happen to have four artillery ships here, so why don't we sink them? Let's maybe grab a Merc, the cheapest one we can get, this guy, just to... Ah, we'll get so much money from this, right? We'll get like two and a half, three thousand from these guys. Maybe less if we just enslave them. So maybe we can get two, but we should be fine with just one. Yeah, let's save money. We'll just send this guy ahead to pin like half of his fleet. Okay, they only have two slingers and two skirmishing calves. Everything else has no javelins, so this should be fairly straightforward. Alright, where are his javelin men? Sits and calf, pikes. Right, the first line is just melee, so that should be fairly easy to just start bombing them. We can put General Slater behind, this guy up front, and our decoy ships on flanks. And let's do it. Right, so you go here, you go here, and you guys just pick your targets. This, 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 and this.
Speed this up a little bit. We're going to use this Merc to try to ram this one, if he's still around by the time we get there, which might not be. Okay, got the first one. You now move to this one. We are pulling some of them away here, but none here. One of our ships is being boarded. Why are you being boarded? You were supposed to ram him. Okay, this guy is buying us a little bit of time. We're going to sink these slingers by just ramming into them. You go back into the corner. You shoot his admiral and you shoot this guy. How are the mercs doing? Ah, oh, they are holding. That's good. Right, you speed up. Hopefully this will be one hit. Come on. Yes, one hit. Excellent. Go around them. You go to the corner. Keep pulling these three away. You should be shooting the Admiral. And you shoot this guy. Yeah, this guy is lost. But that's fine. That was the plan all along. We would have disbanded him anyway. Guys, why are you not shooting? You aim at him and you aim at him. And you aim at him. Slingers. Uh, maybe we should keep our small guy away from this. Why are you not shooting? Come on! Right, just ram. I don't get why these ships are not shooting. Okay, this guy bought us like so much time. Only now he's going down. His admiral is done. Perfect. Right, you shoot this. And you shoot this. Guys, what are you doing? You've barely sunk anyone. What's wrong here? Admiral, come forward. Okay, this one's down. Perfect. You keep shooting this. You guys aim at him and him. Okay, we need to run this guy. He's too close. Yeah, he's down. Excellent. Change of plans. Just shoot this one. We are going to ram him at the very last moment, if there is no other way. But this is point blank. Just one more shot and he's going down. Oh, he got stuck on this wreckage. Excellent. Come on, shoot him. Okay, he's done. We need to get this one out of here. You shoot these slingers. Artillery, you're doing such a poor job this fight. Okay, shoot this one. You get out of here. You already lost a few men. And you shoot the slinger. The two of you shoot the slinger too. And the admiral, you just crush these guys. Okay, slinger's down. Perfect. You come here. Ugh, they will board us. This is horrible. You speed up. I don't get why these ships are not moving. What is this? This should be one hit from the Admiral, right? Right, perfect. Okay, go after these with everything we've got. And the Slingers went down too, excellent. One to go. Direct victory. There we go. Yeah! Alright, that was really good. Sunk all of them, only losing the mercenary, which we would have disbanded anyway. Now, do you want 2700 and slaves or 4100? We're kind of strapped for cash right now, so maybe 4100 immediate is a better choice. Let's do that. Okay, so we can come back to Syracuse and get some replenishment. We have this fleet over here to initiate attack on Carthago, but it needs to fall to these guys first, which isn't going to happen. Ah, this is transport fleet. We can just absolutely crush them with this fleet. Let's do it. If they'll fight, that is. They won't get any support from anyone, and we're looking at 16 ships here. We might as well bring him in to help. Why not? There's nothing threatening around, so he should be fine. Double time here, and you attack. Wreckers. 
94. Let's do protective stance. Excellent. And we're gonna release them for, 1400, for 1800. There's nothing obvious to take now. We can't replenish at sea anyway. Would be probably covert action, but we don't need it right now. So we're going to hold on and just give him research rate. And the fleet gets uh, ship defenders. Okay, now you are going to get nice round of replenishment, but we also should get you back to full. So what do you need? You have pikes, you have a little bit of shooters, could use another ballista, but we don't have it available here. So instead, if you can get one archer, one Tarantine calf, and maybe one more hoplite. Okay, what about this land army? Ah, it's only five units. That's fine. Now, we no longer need this guy here, Dorian. So how about we start moving him to Africa? So if you could double time and get one unit from this guy, what do we have here? Two cavalry and six shooters. Get another cavalry, maybe Tarantine Cav, because he can also hire one more guy. So let's get another Sitsen Cav here. I can't get on C, you can. Okay, so stop here. That's fine. So we have three full stacks and two fleets, decent fleets here. Fleets should be enough to protect the seas. And with three stacks, we can crack on with conquering Africa. Yeah, this is the... Wait, what is this? Rebel army. We must have not checked public order here in a while. We need an army here to deal with them. How far are we from being able to hire another army? Very far away. So we need one of the guys here to basically pull back. I think this one. Because we just destroyed two stacks from these guys a couple turns ago and a stack from him not that long ago. And the garrison is really strong in Potavium, but we absolutely need someone to attack these rebels before they grow arms and legs. So you come here. Now this guy's taking starvation damage, no wonder. Well, he will take. He's uh, sitting here in ambush. Oh, look at this. Crap stack from the green guys. How about we crush them? Huh. Do it. Seventy-nine remaining. Good enough. All to resolve this. Right now they are just next to these guys. Annoyingly, do we have Knight Commander on him? No. Ah, if we attack, we're fighting this whole lot. This twenty stack, these guys and the garrison. That's not gonna work. Just pull back. Should have played this one manually. Pull back for better replenishment here. Yeah. Okay, and still no enemies in sight around Massalia. It's up to almost 1700 gold, really good. Nah, plus 6 to diplomacy of all factions. I don't think so. I don't think that's very useful in our situation. Yeah, just give her gravitas, whatever, doesn't really matter. Promote her, marry her off. And now this new guy, we can put him in charge of uh, Kelias' army. So he can embezzle funds. Oh, this guy's got research right? nice. Get some cultural conversion. This is good. This is good, get a promotion. Now, we have Europus. Ah, he's also in charge. He also has almost has enough for Gravitas to embezzle, but instead we can use his Gravitas to adopt these guys. So get him into the family. And you. But he's the one of logistics, right? And we need uh, replenishment here badly on him. Because this army is absolutely in dire state. So we need to relieve someone else of command. Who also has tons of gravitas? This guy. And he's rotting in Massalia. There's nothing happening there. And nothing will be happening there for a long time. He can embezzle at least twice. Maybe three times by the time we get to... We embezzle twice. So let's uh, put that other guy in charge. And this gives us an option to embezzle, like, at least two turns in a row with uh, Democritus. And this guy's wounded. Okay, so once he's back, he will be able to embezzle at least once too. Good. Okay, now what are we building? Okay, in Macedon, we are supposed to build practice field. We need replenishment, we lo fight a lot in this province, so let's build grain silo, and our culture is still not that strong here, so maybe another shrine of Zeus. Sounds good. Wait, we actually also need food, so maybe we just build this. Some public order here, but we have so much public order already, so maybe just build this. It's more money. But it takes away food. We, we struggle food-wise, so we would rather get this. And here we can upgraded temples should we do they take away food this one gives food so maybe we go for this and let's move on all right so some weird developments here 
These guys besieged Medlan with a crap stack of tier 1 units. What is happening? We got a round of attrition because of that, which is really unfortunate, especially that there's another stack on the way here, and these guys also have another stack. And Delmate are coming. And also Arverni woke up to the fact that we are at war and are bringing a crap stack here. Right, this is all very unfortunate, especially that we had to withdraw this army to deal with rebels. Rebels are a priority though, so attack them. What do they have anyway? Ah, mobs, so it's a crap stack. It's not even a crap stack, it's atrocious crap stack. We beat them with 4 units. Okay, Noble Cav is strong, the rest of this is crap. 4 of them are mob, come on, of course we beat them. The two archers, uh, the javelin men, skirmishers will be a bit annoying, but overall we can easily beat them. Yep, he's gonna out resolve this. We need cash, so go for this. Okay, the guy also leveled up, really good, we need movement. And this situation, huh? We absolutely have to destroy this guy and relieve that siege, else we are in big trouble. We're already in big trouble here. I mean, this doesn't look good. We are looking at three full stacks, another one in the making. Hopefully, oh, this guy is a little bit attrition, so that's at least something. I don't think we need to worry about him though. It's uh, it's a crap stack and we have almost fully replenished garrison in Patavium. Yeah, so Patavium is fine. It's just a matter of beating him and having enough left to withstand attacks from him and him because he'll be up to full. We might even need to get out of the town and fortify so they attack fort rather than the city. We'll see, but either way we need to beat him before we do anything else. I wonder if we should put better general in command. What does this guy have? He's got infantry command, which doesn't give us anything right now. We could put Athenian in charge, he's got double logistics. He also has tactician for movement, which won't be useful here. We also have Democritus as an option. Athenian is strong. The double logistics gives ammunition and armor. It's actually a pretty good set of uh, traits he's got. I'm going to embezzle funds with him, and there's nothing else to do with him. He's uh, 63 years old, he doesn't have gravitas to embezzle again, so... Let's put him in charge of this army to improve its survivability. Ugh, these hoplites are half dead, but that's alright. It's just one unit. Attack. Okay, now this is a trap. We can get close victory with 66 remaining, but this is not good enough. We need to do way better than that because we are facing another two stacks and a third one in the making that will most likely attack next turn. So losing a third of this army means we might lose the lose the whole army and the settlement next turn. We need to play this one manually and do much better than losing 60, losing a third. So let's fight. 